This video will demonstrate how to use Cloud Manager for Exclaim to register, configure, and troubleshoot Exclaim access points. In this demonstration, we'll be showing you how to create a Cloud Manager account, register your Exclaim access points, configure your networks or SSIDs, add an access point and assign a network SSID to that access point, connect and claim the access point with Cloud Manager, review the Cloud Manager dashboard, troubleshoot access points, and show how to run reports using Cloud Manager. Once you've created your Cloud Manager account, it will automatically take you to the login screen. But if you had logged out and wanted to come back in again, you could do that through the Exclaim website under the Cloud Sign-In button. So in this case, it should remember your name, but if it doesn't, put in your username or email and then put in your password and log in. Now when you first log in, if you don't have any access points registered, it will automatically take you to the access point tab. So what we're going to do now is to register two access points. The first thing it asks me for is the serial number. Now as a best practice, it's best to list your serial numbers and your SSIDs in a separate document. So when you go to configure this, you can get through this really quick. So for example, I listed mine in my notepad. So I'm going to put in the serial number of an AP and I have to put it in twice. I'm going to give the AP a name. In this case it's going to be called Sunnyvale and the model of it is going to be an X01. So that's an outdoor access point. Then I can enter in information such as a tag. A tag is an additional piece of information such as if I had 20 APs and I had them in five different or four different cities, I could give a tag for each city. So in this case, I'm just going to give it the tag of Sunnyvale. Okay, I could click Done. If I click Done, it would take me back to the main menu. But in this case, if I have multiple access points to add, I can click on Add Another AP. And then I would put in the serial number for that one. Give it a name. In this case, this is my Fresno AP. This is an XI2. And I'm going to click Done. And after a little bit, it'll come up and list your access points. Okay, so there's my two access points, Fresno and Sunnyvale. The next thing I need to do is to configure my network. So I'm going to go to the Network tab. I'm going to Add Network. And in this case, I'm going to call it Sunny Sunnyvale Coffee. It's my coffee shop in Sunnyvale. I can turn the status on and off. I can set security, either open or WPA2. I'm going to give it a, a passphrase code, so I'm just going to type in a simple code. I can turn broadcast SSID on or off. In this case, the default is that both radios are on, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, but you can select that. If you had a VLAN, you could assign that here. All isolation is automatically on, and I would go ahead and click Save. Alright, so now I'm going to add my second network ID. And this one is going to be called Fresno Coffee. And I'll give it a WPA passphrase as well. I'm going to keep it the same just for simplicity here. And we'll click Save on that. So what I've done is I've registered my AP and I've created my SSID. Now I need to assign the SSID to the access point. So if I go back to the access point tab, and I click on the Fresno AP. I'm going to edit the AP. And now I'm going to add the network. So the network I want to add here is Fresno Coffee. And I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to go to my Sunnyvale. Edit the AP. Sign the network. This is my Sunnyvale Coffee. Click Save. 
So now I've added the SSIDs to, to both access points. So now if I go back to the dashboard, after a period of time, and it'll usually take several minutes, once the access point is claimed by Cloud Manager, you should then get an overall status of the health of the access points. Now that you've registered, configured, and assigned your network SSIDs to your access points, after a short period of time, the access point will connect with the Cloud Manager, and then you'll be able to see some statistics and metrics using the Cloud Manager dashboard. In this example, we have a total of two access points, two online and zero offline. The next box over shows the online AP health. Green implies that it's healthy, so in this case we got two healthy ones, and zero needs audit. If an access point needs audit, then we need to go in and do some further investigation to find out what's wrong. Over on the upper right, it lists the top three APs, and it can list them by clients, or it can list them by throughput. So in this case, we're selecting clients, and it shows that Fresno is my top AP, since I only have two access points and only one has any clients on it, and it shows that we have five clients associated with it. In the center, we have clients by wireless LAN, and Fresno Coffee is the only wireless LAN that has any clients on it, which has a total of five clients over here. But what's interesting is if you roll over this bar, you'll find out that this section of it says that it's 3 to 2.4 gigahertz range, and this one is the 2 to 5 gigahertz range. If I scroll down a little bit, clients by OS type, if I roll over these, I can see that I've got one Android, I've got two iOS devices, and i got two Mac OS devices. The color code is also listed right here. On the lower right, we have clients by signal strength, and in this case, all the clients, shows five clients, are, all have good, excellent strength. Color code is over here, so we have excellent, good, and poor quality. If I want to find out more information about my access points or some of the clients that are attached to them, I can click on the access point tab. So in this case, I'm going to click on Fresno. And you get a pop-up window over here on the right. The upper part, gives the serial number, firmware version, IP address, model type, and the MAC address. So you can see that here we have an XI2, and it also lists the SSID. We have a couple buttons here. If I hit Reboot, it'll reboot the access point. If I click on Locate, what it's going to do is flash the LEDs on the AP, so if, if you're in a local vicinity of the access point, you can see which one it is. If I want to upgrade the firmware, I would click on the Upgrade. As I scroll down here, I can see clients by network, so this is similar to what we saw on the dashboard. So we says Fresno Coffee, in this case, has uh, three clients, and then clients by OS type. So we've got Mac OS, we've got Android down here as well. If I scroll on down, I can see more information about the connected client. So it just describes the IP address and the name or the type of the device that we have. Another thing that I can do here is click on Edit AP, and we used this earlier when we configured, but I can get to it from this menu, so if I wanted to change the AP name or change the tag, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz channel is automatically set to Auto, so it will automatically select a channel, but I could designate a specific channel on either one of these if I wanted to. The 2.4 gigahertz channel width is either 20 or 40 megahertz, and by default it's 20. Same with the 5 gigahertz channel width. And down here, if I wanted to change the network SSID, I could do that at this point in time. Since we've already configured this, I'm going to cancel this. Another tab that we have at the top is my reports tab. There are three different types of reports that I can generate. There is the summary report, access point report, and a client report. So I'm going to select for this demonstration, I'm just going to collect the summer report. We would put in the start and end date, so in this case I'll pick June 3rd, and as an end date I'll pick June 9th. Give it a start time, so we'll start up here at say 3.30 p.m. The end time we'll select 10.45 p.m. And then I'm going to click on Generate Report. You'll get a pop-up that says, Success, your report has been generated. Please allow a few moments for it to appear in the list. So click OK on that. And there it is, 10 June 2015. It's going to be a summary report. Now, I can download this or I can remove it. So since I have an earlier report here, I'm going to go ahead and remove that one. And I'll get a pop-up menu asking me if I want to do this for sure. 
and another pop-up window saying it's successful. If I click on download, it will go ahead and download the report. It will save it as a PDF down here. So I can click on open. So here's my report. It says when it was created, who it was created for, the company, the start period, and the end period. It gives a description on the wireless LAN, the APs, and the clients. So in this case, I have a total of four clients. It gives me my AP summary. So I've got two APs, and it gives a summary of the information. It tells me the model number, the software version number, and how long it's been uptime, and what the registration date. It lists the APs by model, so I've got an XI2 and an X01. And then it gives a client summary of the different clients that I have, including MAC address, IP address, device type, SSID, the AP, and the channel that's being used. If I scroll down further, I get clients by device type. So I've got iOS, Android, and other. And clients by network, clients by radio. So I've got uh, two on the 5 gigahertz, two on the 2.4, and the clients by mode. So a very simple report, but it does give me some metrics that I can use to analyze my network. One other setting I want to talk about briefly is the settings report. And that is if I want to go in and edit my profile. So for example, if I wanted to change my email address or change my company name, or if I wanted to go ahead and change my password, I could, I could go ahead and input that information and then I would just hit update. In this case, I'm not going to do that at this point in time. So I think you can see from this short demo that Cloud Manager is a simple yet powerful tool for registering, configuring, and running simple metrics for your Exclaim network access points.